Hey guys, David here at Yulu, and now we get to play with Spy Code. Let's open this up. Let's do an unboxing. So here it is. We got the pack. Looking very good, very colorful. And it seems like you open it pretty easily just right here. Just pull this open. Super easy. And then we open it this way. Set it up like this. Let's see what we got inside. Okay. Got our coins. Yes. And we have our Spy Code cards. Nice. Very good. And ooh, we got our spy gear, a stethoscope, and instruction booklet, manual. Tell us everything we need to know, but don't worry, I'm here to tell you that, so you don't even need to read it. And now we got the main thing, guys. Here it is. Ooh, ah, look at that. There she is. She is beautiful. So that is what we have in our package right there, guys. So we've got our booklet got our coins, got our safe, our cards, and our spy gear stethoscope. So I'm going to take these all out of the plastic and I'll be right back with you guys. All right, let's start our setup by putting the stickers on the coins. So all you need to do is take your stickers right here and just peel it off just like that. Then you take your coin on the flat side of the coin and just place the sticker right there on the coin. And that's how you make your diamond coin. And now, for the alarm bell, you just do the same thing. You also have one alarm bell. So you peel off your alarm bell sticker, get the flat side of your coin, and just line it up on the edge like that, and place it right on there. And now you've got your alarm bell. Hopefully that doesn't get you guys. Great, so we got everything out of the box, and now I'm going to use my handy little manual here to walk through one by one everything inside. So first, we've got our awesome spy code vault our spy stethoscope, our 18 game cards right here, these cards, and our coins. So we've got different kinds of coins. We've got our regular coins, these gold coins like this, and we've got three diamond coins, guys. And then there's also one other coin, which is an alarm bell coin, but you'll have to see that one later when it comes up. Now, let me show you guys what you need to do. Next, what you need to do is open this up and put the batteries inside. I'm going to switch it on, and you'll know it's on because you'll see this light right here. You'll see it blinking. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to choose a card, and then we're going to turn the dial to the number on that card. So right here, I'm going to choose a 7, switch it to 7, just like that, and then we're going to use our special listening device here. I'm going to listen, and when I press this button right here with the fingerprint scanner, okay, it's going to give me a sound, and it lets me know whether I need to go higher or lower. So the sound I got was like a bong, bong. So I know that it's lower than seven. So I'm gonna choose another card now. This time I'm gonna choose three. So we're gonna turn the dial to three. There we go. We're gonna put our listening device on again. Use the fingerprint scanner. Okay, I got a bing, bing this time. So that means it's higher. All right, so. It's lower than seven, but higher than three. Let's go with five, guys. We'll go with five. This is a good, good guess here. We're gonna go with five. Five, here we go. So, once again, we're gonna listen. And switch it to five. Use the fingerprint scanner. Oh, there we go, guys. We're gonna get some treasure. And what did we get? Okay, guys, we got three coins. This is really good. So, let's talk about how you win, guys. We got a regular coin, and we got two diamonds. So, the way you win in this game is you either can get five regular coins, or if you get two diamonds, like I just did, you win. But, sometimes you can also get an alarm bell. If you get the alarm bell, then you lose all the coins you already have, and you have to go back. Now also, while you are using the sounds and trying to get the right sound, there's one other sound you can get. You can also get a police siren. That means the police are close and you don't get a clue that round. So you have to wait until the next round. Now, that's how you play the game normally, but if you want to make it a little bit harder, a little bit more of a challenge, when you're using the cards, every time I take a card, instead of keeping it, I can put it back in the pile. And so you and I, we both have to remember what cards are already out there. Or if you want to make it even more difficult, you take all the cards off the table, and you just have to do it all from memory. So that's how you play this game, guys. You should really give it a try.